Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and I wanted to show you how you can uh, take some movement scripts uh, that I have applied to this cube, for example, and make it so that only the owner of the object is able to manipulate it. So if I looked at the movement for the cube here, it's just a simple update. If I press a key, it moves it up, moves it down, and rotates it. And I only want to do this for the owner. So all we have to do in here is I'm going to derive it from a networked mono behavior so it can be transferred over the network. And I just need to put it here. There we are. Now I need to override the built-in update. So I'm going to do protected override void update base dot update. So I want this base update to happen on all of the all of the machines, so the server and the clients, but I only want the owner to be able to do this stuff. So all I have to do is simply say if uh, not is owner return, and what this will do is it'll check uh, to see who owns this object. Whoever instantiates the object actually owns the object. So if the client instantiates it, they own it. If the server instantiates it, the uh, server owns it. And I'll do uh, instantiation on another tutorial. So uh, basically we're saying if it is not the owner, we're returning, which prevents the rest of this code from running. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to build it out and give it a whirl. So I'm going to start on the basic menu, save my scene. Build and run, yes. Turn that down, it's fairly loud. Okay. So, I'm going to do it on this display. I will snap this guy. I'll start the server over here in the editor. I'll start the client here. Now, if I press the arrow keys on the client, nothing will happen. However, if I come over here and press the arrow keys on the server, the server will be able to control the object, and the client will not. So that's how you can uh, do flow of control for your objects. You can just use the is owner to determine who actually owns the object, and then you can control what happens uh, to the object after that. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and that's about it for this tutorial. Talk to you later.